I am no longer afraid of being associated with Raila. I think he's a leader like any other. And I have a responsibility as a leader from my region to help my people fight the phobia. Because I think initially we, we were sold like Raila was not even human. You know, we were all very much afraid of him. But now we have had access to him. He's one, a very polite person. He's come out as a very good family man, as a person who's very considerate about other people and a down to earth person. So, what I'll say, yes, it will be a risk from my side, but I have a responsibility to talk to my people, to convince my people, and I'll also be listening to them. I am very positive that now we can have a conversation on whether Raila can be a candidate or not. Initially, that conversation could not have happened. You know, if it was a year ago or two years ago, that was unheard of. So it's good to give him a chance. And I think he also, he's, he has had experience. He's no longer excited about leadership. He's been there, he has lost, and he has seen it all. So for me, I, 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 the one thing I support about him, it's because he's, he has done really uh, mature politics. So his people sometimes get very excited, you know, and he needs to know how to manage them. But at the end of the day, he has tried. Anyone who has tried, he's tried for the fifth time. We can just give him once, <laughs> at least, at least to consider him. His father tried, he didn't get it. And looking at history, his father is the one who actually even made Kenyatta become the president. And these people, the only thing that we have had, they have just, I would say they were, have, were just rumors, you know, and things that were, were, were told to us about him that are not true. So now that we have access, now that we can sit and talk, we can now make a decision, a sober decision, not an emotional decision and not a decision influenced by the rumors and things that we cannot even confirm. We need to meet with our people and have a very candid conversation. You know, you can't force, you have to talk to the people and we'll also be listening to our people. We are not blind that we, we just want to come and impose, so we'll also be listening to our people. So now that we, are going on, we have gone on recess, Talk to the people we'll be doing town halls, we'll be meeting opinion leaders, we'll be meeting our young people, we'll be meeting the women, and we need to just sit and listen to them and we'll have a conversation. So it's going to be a very interesting time. From between now and February, we just want to go to the ground and talk to our people, listen to them, and then we will agree. Then by, the, by February, I will know even which party to go with, whether I'll go with Jubilee or not. By February, I'll know, because I'll have, also have to work with my people on the ground. Nani tawambia vile hata mimi nafikiria maneno yangu